Do you think Aaron was wrong for roasting the women? Do you think people had a right to call his job and get him fired for publicly roasting these women? How do you guys feel about the Pop the Balloon show altogether? Do you think it's problematic? So baby, when you ready, hit my line. Tell me what you want to do. I know you still really do, do, do. Hey you guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to take time, as I always do, to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you're not already currently subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right now. Also, I do have another channel called Brandy Beer Review TV. Navigate to the first comment pinned to the top to check that out. Also, like the video, you guys. Comment on the video. I want to hear your thoughts, so comment and like. Um, and now let's get into this juicy topic. In today's toxic news, we are talking about a new YouTube show called Pop the Balloon or Find Love and the man who recently went viral for roasting potential suitors on the show. The show features host and founder Arlette Amuli attempting to help eligible bachelors and bachelorettes find love. According to Google, the show's concept showcases one person who stands to be judged by a group of potential partners who will pop their balloon if uninterested. The only catch is that you have to be willing to get dragged on camera during that process. Have you guys seen this? This is literally is what everybody is talking about. It's hilarious. All right, if we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Aaron, how old yes, are you? Yes, I'm 29. 29, okay. Yeah. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly, um, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay, all right. So we did get a pop balloon. <laughs> Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we were going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. So, uh, that's okay. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. <laughs> According to unilad.com, a man named Aaron debuted on an installment of Arlette Amuli's dating show titled Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Towards the end of the one hour and 17 minute video, 29 year old Aaron appeared and told the show host he was looking for a woman who wasn't promiscuous and has a career going for herself. After further listing that being not cleanly was a major deal breaker for him, Aaron headed on down to speak to a woman named Karma who immediately popped her balloon. The 24-year-old claimed she just wasn't fully attracted to the American man, to which Aaron replied, the feeling is definitely mutual, so that's okay, you did me a favor. Following this passive-aggressive put-down, another woman called Tara alleged that she didn't like the way Aaron had spoken to Karma. This prompted The Bachelor to hit out again and say to the 22-year-old, if I saw you in public, I wouldn't reach out to you. The budget dating show continued in this manner, with Aaron facing further women who rejected him and producing put-downs in return. Despite experiencing many balloon pops and various arguments, the hopeful single did end up leaving the dating show with a 23-year-old woman called Esther. The YouTube video, which has racked up over 1.5 million views, has gone viral across X, and now Aaron claims he has been fired from his job because of it. Guys, this is messy. I actually enjoy the concept of the show, bringing strangers together to see how, you know, they interact purely based on physical attraction because it's, it's you know, it's just super entertaining. Now, what this show has exposed is that women can be totally blunt about how they feel about a man's appearance but men can't because i've seen other episodes where these women just be going in okay and it also exposes the inner uh, critiquing thoughts of how you feel about a person when you first meet them um i do disagree with the notion that women uh you know can critique men but men can't if you dish it out you've got to be able to take it 
However, I will say though, with this viral episode, the first young lady who popped her balloon that Aaron encountered, she was respectful in saying, you know what, the physical attraction, the chemistry just isn't there, you know? And she said it in a, in a kind voice and was cool about it. But then of course, Aaron felt a way about her saying this and added to it, of course, as you guys seen by saying, yes, the feeling is definitely mutual, saying, thank you, you did me a favor. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that was so hilarious. I was rolling on the floor. That reminded me of when, um, you know, when guys try to holler at you, um, try to holler at a girl on the street and you're not feeling it and, um, you know, you turn him down and he's like, well, I didn't like your ugly ass anyway. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, on another, um, in another memorable moment, it was when he told another young lady he didn't like her hairy arms. Y'all, why did this man say this? Six. My eyes are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their Don't arms. do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You guys, I'm not going to lie. This was a pretty funny moment. But do y'all think she was the one who started a mass takedown at the man's job? <laughs> or was it the girl who roasted him, calling him a ninja turtle? And did you want to come at everybody over here? I'm going to get at you, too. You kind of look like a ninja turtle. You're not that cute. You, you need to relax. Ugh. While I don't agree with Aaron's approach and how he responded to the women, I don't think people should have gotten him fired from his job. That's just, it's just doing a lot. But you guys, as the Unilad um, article stated before, Aaron did end up leaving with a young lady. And you know, I'm just curious as to how that went. <laughs> I know normally the hosts are let does bring back the paired couple to see how the first date went. And that is very entertaining. Um, and I don't know if Aaron would be willing to appear because he did say um, with that viral moment that he's been getting a lot of hate and he has, you know, he has to move to a different state. It's just, it's just, wow, poor guy. But anyways, you guys, what did you think of today's toxic video? Do you think Aaron was wrong for roasting the women? Do you think people had a right to call his job and get him fired for publicly roasting these women? How do you guys feel about the Pop the Balloon show altogether? Do you think it's problematic? Leave a comment. Be sure to like, share the video, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hi guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.